Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I want to continue talking about uh, nuclear war or radiation. I just want to talk about this subject is water because it's very important. After a nuclear war, you're going to have all that radiation from the blast. That dust is going to fall. That dust is radioactive. That's what you're trying to keep off of your skin. And you're definitely trying to keep from ingesting that into your system because as soon as it gets in your system, um, your body is going to be more vulnerable to it. Normally skin helps keep the dust out. So without that, you're in serious trouble. So what are you going to do for water? First of all, just store it. Store as much as you can in your house. And that's for any emergency, having a, a good supply of water, either in bottles or five gallon cans or even 275 gallon water totes, whatever works for you. If you have a well and you're on a deep well, your water is going to be good because any dust that falls to the earth is going to hit the ground. It's going to be filtered and protected because of all the dirt. So you're very much better than uh, most people. Now, if you're on city water, when it first happens, that water's still gonna be good in there. You might have breaks in the line though, if you have an explosion far away, could damage lines. And we're not talking about being near the blast. If you're next to the blast, you're in trouble already. We're talking about just fallout falling from the sky. So if you got a well, you're good, store water. If you use all that water up and you need water and you're able to come out of your shelter or come out of your house and you have to get water um, what you need to do is whatever water you collect you need to filter it you can use a commercial made filter or Berkey uh, that's going to remove the particles but it will be inside your your, your container will be on your filter so we don't want to do that first what we want to do is make our own filter this filter is only going to protect us from removing radioactive dust it's not going to purify the water to make it safe to drink. So what you're going to do is take a five gallon bucket, tip it over, poke a bunch of holes in the bottom, small holes. Then put two inches of gravel or small pebbles in there, two inches. Then you need to find some dirt, uh, clayish dirt. Um, if you, you can't find clay dirt, use any dirt. About six inches of dirt. Between the dirt and the gravel, Take a towel, a hand towel, any type of towel, and put that in there so the dirt won't mix in with the gravel. Put about six inches of dirt, press it down, pack it in there really good so that water really has to work to get through it. Then put another towel over it. Then put some rocks on top of that, an inch of rocks. The rocks are just gonna keep that towel in place so when you pour water in there, the towel doesn't move or erode on your dirt. Then take your probably contaminated water, pour it in there. It's going to cycle through the layer of rock and then the real work is going to be done through that six inches of compressed soil. When you find your soil, you can't take soil that's outside that's contaminated. You might have to dig way down and, and get some soil or take it from an, uh, underneath a crawl space or somewhere where you can find some dirt that's not contaminated. It'll go all the way through that six inches of dirt. That's why you want to compress it. You want it to really filter out particles then it'll go through the pebbles the two inches of gravel or pebbles and then drip out the bottom of the holes that water now is safe from radioactive material but it's not purified as in you need to purify it, either by boiling it or now sending it through a Berkey or any type of other life uh, straw uh, our survival straw that we sell anything like that all right let's say you need to get water from a source outside and you know radioactive dust has fallen. If you have a pond, let's imagine this is the pond, and let's imagine the pond being 10 feet deep. You don't want to get the water off the surface because if dust had recently fallen, fallen on that, you'll be scooping it up. What you want to do is go as far down into it, about middle way, and get the water. You don't want to go to the bottom and get the water because what happens is eventually that dust in the water settles down to the bottom so technically there'll be more radioactive material eventually on the bottom than on the top as it settles so if you can get a few feet down to collect the water that will probably be the safest water possible I hope this helps the moral of the story is store as much water as you can but it's not as bad as people say well all the water will be polluted yes it will have problems but if you know some basic things you can definitely get clean water and give your family a good glass of water. Thanks for watching.